Beneath the warm Pacific lies the Mariana Trench, the deepest scar on Earth, dropping nearly 11 kilometers into darkness. If Mount Everest were placed here, its peak would still sit two kilometers underwater. This abyss was carved by the immense forces of plate tectonics, the old heavy Pacific plate sinking beneath lighter continental plates. This process fuels the ring of fire, a chain of violent earthquakes, volcanoes, and vast ocean trenches like the Challenger Deep. Reaching these depths is almost impossible. At the bottom, pressure equals a ton pressing on a single fingernail, enough to crush steel. Only in 1960 did humans first touch the seafloor aboard the tiny craft Trieste. It took 50 more years before James Cameron made the first solo descent. Even today, only a handful of dives have ever returned, far fewer than the number of people who've stood on Everest or walked on the moon. Descending through the water column is like traveling through different worlds. In the sunlit zone, life thrives. Plankton, fish, and the photosynthesis that creates half of Earth's oxygen. Below that, the twilight and midnight zones swallow the light. Here, creatures evolve extraordinary tools. Huge eyes, pressure-sensitive bodies, and bioluminescent glow. Bristlemouths, anglerfish, pelican eels, even giant squid drift through this cold darkness, many growing to immense sizes thanks to deep-sea gigantism. Finally, at the bottom lies the Hadal Zone, the most extreme environment on Earth. No light, almost no food. Yet life persists through astonishing adaptations. Sea pigs sliding across the silt, giant amphipods scavenging the void, the Mariana snailfish enduring record pressures, and xenophyophores, single-celled organisms the size of a human fist. Chemosynthetic microbes even create life from volcanic chemicals rather than sunlight. So far, only about 400 species are known from these depths, a tiny number compared to a single lake. Exploration remains slow, not because of limited imagination, but because of enormous cost, lethal pressure, and near total darkness. Yet what we have seen reveals something profound. The deep ocean is not a dead end, but a frontier of astonishing biology. A place where life rewrites the rules of survival, and where every discovery may change our understanding of evolution, adaptation, and even medicine. In the end, the Mariana Trench is both a graveyard of ancient ocean crust and the ultimate natural laboratory, pushing life and human curiosity to the very edge